<laughs> Greetings and welcome back everyone. On today's episode of our FTB Continuum, we are going to be working on the setting, constructing our Empowerer and being able to give the Display Stands the energy they need, the RF, and hopefully that doesn't take up all our time so we can do a few other things. And you notice i got a lot of chickens around here. I've been throwing the eggs like crazy to make a whole bunch of chickens to be able to butcher to get some more jerky because that's one of the foods that I'm using right now. So this lunch pail, it uses your food in order so that you don't ever have waste and you're using um, only food that has no um, disadvantage to you. So uh, as long as you have six different types of food in here, you're good. And I got I got my six different types of food. I'm going to have to make some more PB&Js here soon, but we're doing pretty good. I just keep it open and then I just eat it like it was a piece of food. It works out really well and our bees are doing really good. And I have these two new types of trees here. So we have the apple oak leaves and the silver birch leaves, right? So I had to scan using my portable analyzer the trees, the saplings for each of these, the oak and the birch, to be able to make them uh, into the one that can breed into the next one because I was not getting any graftable um, leaves or whatnot. So... I was not getting any cross-pollination, so I had to do that up real quick, and it wasn't uh, too big of a deal. So, now let's set up our Empower. Shouldn't be too difficult. I've done it once before, so I'm an expert then, right? That's all that matters. As long as you've done it once before, you're an expert. So let's see here. I think this is the setup that you need, and then we just need to um, run some power cables to these guys up underneath, and we'll be good to go. So that's basically what I'm going to do here is just go... And I'm going to run power up underneath all of this. And then we're going to make the cables that we're going to need for this whole setup. So let's get to it here. I'm just going to break ground here and get all these in place. And we're going to need to go make some cables, I think. Well, no, I know, because we only have like four of them left. So with that, we'll uh, jump out of here like so. And we need to make a whole bunch of cables. So one, two, three... One, two, three, four, five, six, let's say six cards. So let's grab a whole slew of of redstone and let's grab some, let's say, let's do seven sets. That, that should be good enough. And for that we need, I think it was the carpenter here, so we're going to have to get some water too while we're at it. And basically it's just going to be tin like so. And now we need to give it some water. Let me fill this up and I'll be right back. Well, we got them full. Now it looks like we're running low on power. So let's go out there and see what we can do about the power situation. Shouldn't be too difficult. We'll just throw some into the bigger generator. Since we actually actively got something going there. Which will all work out in the end here. So let's see now. We don't have anything else running, do we? No, but we're getting quite a bit of stuff from our centrifuge lately. So this is going to make up the gears we need without too much issue and it's nighttime outside so let me take a quick rest and I'll be right back okay so I'm back so let's see let's just grab a bite to eat here real quick pretty easy and we should be getting close to being done oh we're done perfect so now we got those out of the way let's see let's go here and type lead stone should get us close enough to what we want Oh yeah, so now we're going to need some lead to be able to do each of these sets up. And we're going to need a little bit more redstone. So we might as well just grab another stack. And we're good to go. Let's see. Oh wait, lead's over here. Forgot I consolidated everything to use this. And I don't know if we're going to have enough. Let me go see if I got some more lead outside. I think I got some cooking in the system here. Oh yeah, three blocks worth. Perfect. Let's cast up this stuff real quick, and we'll be good. just want to see how long it takes for a single block to cool. I think it's actually pretty fast here. Oh yeah, it's super fast to watch a block of this cool down. This will give us enough between these three blocks real quick. We'll be good to go. It won't be uh, any challenge at all. We got an iron ingot right there that we'll take. Might as well swap that gear out because we're eventually going to need it. There we go. Oh wait, grab the gear. We seem to be making a lot of gears lately, you know. So we're gonna go with this. I mean, that third one is ex that third one should be all of what we need because it's seven times four. It should be like twenty-eight, or was it two? 
Yeah, it's only two, so... Yeah, so it's 14. We have plenty. This will just be gravy. There we go. Good enough. So let's go in here and let's make these. I really didn't need to go in here. I forget that I'm always carrying the, the piece that's needed. Okay, so now we have 28 of these. Plus the four that are seven that are right there. Should have enough to finish up this whole thing. Connecting it to the network. Driving it all underground here. Whoops, I probably should have... Uh, I just did it again. Dog nabbit. I need to not be in the way of being able to jump out of this thing here. Now we're going to consume a little bit more power with this setup. But it'll all be worth it. And I'm pretty sure the empower itself does not require anything. Yep, I'm sure it has has no hover over interface like these do. But we're going to need to give them some power there. Each take about 80,000. So what we'll do here is we'll cover all this up. And then we'll feed these generators. It's quite a bit of coal. I mean, this one's got quite a bit in it, but we're going to give it some. We got plenty, plenty of coal. Or charcoal, I should say. We'll stock them up real good. We can even go grab some more if we need to. It's not that big a deal. Okay, so we're going to give you that many. We're going to give you that many. You've already got some, so we'll give you a few more. And that'll probably do us for right there. So let's let these fill up real quick. We already got two completely full. And let's see, what should our first recipe be? Let's see, let's check in here. Because we have a few things that we can make. And I'm thinking about making this aggro business. So I think that'd be pretty neat. But you also got um, the grinder here. But I'm not really interested in the grinder. It has a chance to do it, but it cannot be automated. And I'm like, well, that's not fun. So let's look here. Uh, quests. There's other stuff we could do too. Like I'd like to make this blast furnace, but we got to go deeper into the nether for that. That is on our list of things to do though. Uh, definitely on our list of things to do. So let's see. What can we do that we needed to be able to make in the empower here? Why do I feel like I'm drawing a blank? Because I made this for a specific reason. So I figured out what I needed it for. It was to make plates, but the pro or not plates, but circuits. But the problem is we don't have the ability to make plates yet. So we're going to have to get to that. So with that in mind, we're going to switch over to making the, um, whatchamacallit, this thing over here, the agribusiness, because we can easily do that. Ship a bin. The shipping bin allows you to sell a stack of harvest craft or vanilla crops for an emerald, and we can easily do that. So we're going we're gonna to attempt to make the shipping bin now and see how that works out. And then the tree extractor is also on our list here. So let's see how this is going to work for us. There's a block of cobalt, and then there's a shipping bin. Ah, it requires the empower anyway. We need cactus fruit. Oh my goodness. Garlic, kiwi, and seaweed. We don't have any of that yet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're going to have to really forage for those. So maybe we can't do that one just yet. But we're going to have to keep trying here. There's not even substitutes. I only have one of these so far. I don't have garlic, cactus fruit, or kiwi. So we're going to have to keep working at this but I guess with that we'll uh I guess we'll keep working on stuff so it looks like if I want to continue doing anything I need blaze powder so to do any of the recipes I want for the empower requires blaze powder I must have looked at it incorrectly but at least we have a um empower now and it is set up so we're gonna have to venture back into the nether and get some more items we need that blaze powder and so let's head in there so we're back in the nether i'm going to move this stuff out of the way so i have room to walk here and then we're going to put a marker on our map here so that we can find our way back because we're going to head out we need to find this fortress so let's head up in this direction first do we bring anything with us i didn't even check Oh, I bet we didn't. We're going to need to gather a little bit here. Because we should have something to build bridges. And just generally have stuff here. 
There we go. We got a little bit. Almost a full stack. There we go. Over a stack now. We're good. So let's head out over in this direction. Hopefully the blazes aren't going to murder us. I don't feel like we're strong enough to take on blazes, but I also don't feel like we necessarily have the choice at this point. I may need to make better armor and whatnot, but we'll do what we can here. I hear you, Gast. You're somewhere, buddy. You're somewhere. So I'm going to venture forth, and I'm going to find a fortress, and then I'll be back. So I just figured out that an obsidian sharpening kit will get us the ability to mine this aradite and the cobalt. So I'm going to head back, and I'm going to make that real quick. And we'll apply it to our tool here, and we'll be good to go. So we applied it to our tool, and with that we might as well make a better sword. So let's go grab, oh we went too far down, let's go grab um, some cobalt and aradite and make a much better sword so that when we go fight blazes we'll be doing significantly better in the battle to come. So let's grab some of this stuff here. We're eventually going to make it to that, um, to that fortress. So we decided to do a few upgrades while we were at it. We we're upgrading our pickaxe to be able to take advantage of cobalt and the mining speed increase that it will give us. And we also upgraded our sword to uh, manlium, which is it pretty much doubled its damage as well. It's pretty good. I think we're doing really well. And I think I might even take some of this uh, quartz here and give our sword some upgraded much needed upgraded damage here. So let's see here. If we put it around like so, what can we achieve? Our damage will go to 1246 there. And then if we do it again, it'll go up to 14. That is a significant increase over what it was. So let's take it out there. And that used up our two upgrades for now, but 14 damage, that's a lot of damage. We had, we, had, we had a pretty easy time finding these blocks, so it wasn't that big a deal. So now, I'm headed back into the nether, and we are going to find a fortress. So here we are, I've located the nether fortress. Don't need to get much else here. Actually, went in a roundabout way, it's semi-close to the house here. Oh nice achievement, a terrible fortress. Let's see, what do we got here? Man. Oh. Nice. Obsidian, two dimer, or iron, uh, gold swords there. It's not too bad. I did bring my analyzer with me, which I probably shouldn't have, but oh well. Let's hope we can find some blazes to help us out here. We just need a few blaze rods for some blaze powder. It's a magma guys up along the way here. Ooh, a steadfast bee. Won't turn down that and, and or some gold. Let's see, we gotta get... It's got to be another way to get through here. Let's keep going. We can find it. What we really need to find, hopefully, is a spawner. We really just need to find a spawner, and we'd be good. We'd be able to get what we need without too much trouble, and hopefully without dying. If we can, we'll find some nether wart while we're in here, too. That would be beneficial if that is possible. And I think we found some. Bam! There we go. We found some nether wart. None of it's ready yet. But we will uh, keep an eye on it here. Oh, I hear something. I hear our friendly, friendly, friendly. Oh, that's not good. We need to put something there. Just in case that decides to update. Block updates can be dangerous. So there's some more pyrite. And we got some quartz here. It's not necessarily what we're after, but hey, take what we can get, right? I hear something. I hear a blaze really close by. There are chests all over the place in this one. Okay, so let's grab the gold. Let's go to the other chest. Let's keep moving. If we keep moving, it won't be as dangerous. Oh, nice, a resonating hive. Really forgot to bring my thing with me, but that's okay. Man, they could be anywhere here. 
anywhere. Diamond armor for a horse, now that's pretty good. That I can't turn it turn down, I guess. So let's let's keep going here. Oh, another tunnel and another chest. This is a interesting shape for diamond and what is this? A magenta rune from something. Oh, a saddle won't be bad either. I, I guess I can't make them in this one like I can in Septech. So let's see here. Eh, I don't really care about that stuff too much. We need those blaze rods. Blaze rods for the win. Okay, so we're going to drop these two so we pick them up. And they'll go into our mining bag. Good enough. So let's keep going here. There's got to be more to this place. We're looking for some pretty good spawns. We should probably have our sword out just in case. Hmm. This is where we came back in. This is where we go down. Let's check here. 33%, 66%. Yep, they're not quite peeking over the top yet. Let's just do a quick check this way. Does it end? It kind of ends into another area here. And I hear the blazes. Oh, because they're right there. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Ooh, they are right there. I can't quite reach him. But he could totally get me up. There we go. That's what I need to hear. Got him. Did we get a blaze rod? I think so. Ooh, we're on fire. We're on fire. Did we get another blaze rod? We're gonna need to eat here in a second. Hmm. Okay. So we're good. We have two blaze rods. Which will be four blaze powder. We need more. We need more here. Got that one. Another one bites the dust. Oh, there's like four or more in there. Oh, that is not what me likes. Okay, got another blaze rod. Woo, woo. Too many for comfort here. Okay, so what we can do is let's jump out here. Let's grab this one. Got that one. Okay, no blaze rod off of that one, but I'm still up four blaze rods. Woo, let's eat, let's eat. Let's not forget food at a time like this. Okay, so we're good. We're good. Okay. Got that one. And got his blaze rod. We're up to four. Oh, we only got four. Did he not drop a blaze rod? I thought he did. Oh, he must not have dropped a blaze rod. Bummer. Maybe just him falling and dying. Oh, man, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Whew, there's another one right there. Let's get him. Before we hide here, five blaze rods. Five blaze rods. Let's eat again. We keep our. We need to keep our saturation up. That'll help us heal. Keep our saturation up here. Whew. Okay. We're doing pretty good. We're still alive. This thing should give us some more blazes here shortly. This is quite, quite the adventure being able to get these blaze rods. And then this will help us build that. The blast furnace we need, it'll help us build all that stuff through the empower. There's quite a bit we need to do because of that. Okay, so I don't know if I should stand up here, because in case three or four of them come at the same time, that could be rough. That could be really rough. We still only have five blaze rods. We got two diamond horse armors, though. We need to find a horse. We live on an island. I forgot about that. On my Sevtech playthrough, I have horses, horses everywhere. There are so many horses. Okay, so we got a, we got some company. Got him. Okay, he's not the only one. Ooh. Okay, so... See, in an enclosed area like this, I can get them with a sword without too much difficulty. Which is the benefit of this. So I'm up to six blaze rods. Now, the reason I don't want to stand up here is because they can spawn right, like, inside of me. And it's instant damage. We, we have to be careful our armor isn't the best right now. For this all to work out. Ooh, man. So let's see here. We got another one spawn right there. Got him. They're not spawning at the high frequencies as they normally do. I mean, typically you're going for uh, two to four at any given time. One is a luxury. One is a real big luxury. So let's see. Let's hope we can get some more here. Give me another one, good buddy. Give me another one. You can do it. Eight would be a good start, but we should go for more. 
because I don't remember how many it is per. Let's, let's do a quick look see here. Let's see, we can get get that out of it so we can make those and there's the bricks that we need to make out of it plus lava wood would also be something worth making let's see here what is that obsidian rod this is what we need to make so we need four times three or four times nine Ooh. so that's 36 eight we need 18 of them holy smokes Holy smokes, how do we get all those guys without taking a, a hit? Whoa! Uh-oh, this one's gonna pop off a shot. There we go. We got him, but we caught fire at the same time. That's why we don't want to be up there when it happens. But we're up to 11. 11 blaze rods. That is that is pretty doggone good. So let's clear up an, a spot here. We don't, we don't have too many empty spots just in case they drop something worth my time here. So now we have three empty spots just in case something else drops from one of these guys. Oh man, we got lucky on that one. Oh, I can jump. Oh, I can crit damage them. Or I shouldn't say it like that. I've always been able to crit damage them, but I can one-shot them crit damage them. Now that is the sword right there. So let's see, what else we got here? So once we make that blast furnace, it'll allow us to make steel, among other things. And steel is one of the components that we're going to need to make a lot of plates of, and so on and so forth. But the difficulties that we face when making plates is getting into immersive engineering. And for immersive engineering, uh, we need steel. Oh man. Got him. Okay, any more? Got one more. We need at least four more to get her all done. We're at 17 levels again already though, with our continued death count that we seem to keep having. It's not too bad. Got him. Move over here. Oh man, he still shot me. We need to eat as soon as the fire is over. Okay, we have 15 blaze rods. We're getting about one every other other guy here. Yeah, with three of them, you know you'd catch fire. Dog nabbit. 16. We got one out of that. Ooh, more. Oh, man, I can't believe we got them so fast that time. Oh, they did drop something extra. Check it out. What did we get? What did we get? Oh, it must have went in one of the bags. It did go in one of the bags. It's like sulfur or something. Oh, it is sulfur. Hot diggity dog. We got some sulfur. Okay, so how's our health looking? We need to eat. Yeah, we're consuming a lot of food in here. At least we're not taking a lot of armor damage, at least. Uh-oh. Okay, got him. And didn't catch fire. There's a plus. We're at 19 now. With 17 blaze rods. Let's keep going. We're doing pretty good. That blast furnace is going to help us out. That immersive engineering stuff is going to be a lot of what we're going to go into next. I mean, if you want to look at it, we need to build this blast furnace so we can get to the, the pressing matters because that's going to be super important. So that's why we got to build the blast furnace. It's the only reason because otherwise I don't <sighs> I don't really know where we're going to go from here because this pack is kind of backwards and how it operates. Okay, got them. Got them all. We're up to 20 blaze rods. Oh, we should eat. We should eat. So this is good. We can even do ender bags and stuff like that now that we got the blaze rods. I don't know if we'll be able to make them though. I haven't looked up the recipe. It's probably pretty, pretty intensive in comparison to the normal re recipe. Come on, spit them out. Spit them out, little buddy. Got him. Got him. Well, we're still at twenty here. Let's try to get a few more. We're uh, playing our... We're risking it anyway, but it'll be okay. Our armor's still holding up pretty good. We have plenty of food. This isn't a bad setup. This is a definitely a good setup for us. Got him. And you're gonna fire on me. I knew it. Oh, nice! I just got an upgrade on my sword so I can 
use a new modifier with it. Sweet. It does pretty good damage. We're up to 22. Won't be too long, but we'll be where we need to be. Okay. Come on, come on. Nothing else has appeared out here, has it? Just to be on the safe side. Okay, so we got two of them. Oh, they went to firing right off the bat. Okay, got those two. Let's get back behind here. Heal up one more time. Oh, we can't just yet. Not until we go a little bit further. We still only have 22. So let's heal up just a little bit more. We'll hear him here in just a second. And that's when we know that it's time to strike. But this is a dang good spawner setup for us. Practically perfect, in fact. 22, we're stuck at 22. Come on, 24, 24, 24. Can I hear 24, 24, 24? Let's get her done. Oh, there we go. Oh man, there's like four of them here. He moved into our little spot here. Figured he could hide in our hidey hole. Afraid not. Okay, so we got 24. I think that's where we're going to call it. That is more than enough for our setup that we're trying to initially do. But I'm going to have to put this down as our blaze spawner location here. So I'm going to create a waypoint for us to have for this place. So let's see. Blazing. I think that's what we'll call it. Blazing. And we'll change the color to like there. That's perfect. We have a few more here, but I think that's where we're going to call the episode. I'm going to head back after I take care of these guys, so I appreciate you guys watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.